Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. I don't remember not just one course, I don't remember one line from one of my professors who ever even addressed mental illness. From 1959 to my graduating in 1963, not once. Christians didn't have that. The first book I read on the mental and emotional struggles of a Christian was Why Christians Crack Up by Dr. Marion Nelson, and it was considered heresy by many evangelicals. Christians don't crack up, was the common belief. You, you, you don't have breakdowns. You know what the, word was, what the word was that was used of those who struggled emotionally back in the early and mid-60s? Nervous. She's uh, nervous. And if you ever, God help you, if you ever had to be hospitalized, there just wasn't a Christian word for it. And you didn't tell her so. Shame upon shame that you didn't trust the Lord through your struggle and find him faithful to help you with your depression. I remember being told by a prof who talked to us about doing funerals that if you did funerals for those who committed suicide and they happened to have been Christians, never mention that they were Christians. It didn't sound right then and it doesn't sound right now. Uh, but this old salt has come through a number of things since 40 years ago. And I've buried many a Christian who took her own life or his life. It's always heartbreaking. But I never once would put them down. My heart goes out to them. And you're not nervous. Who knows the reason? The spectrum is broad. I wouldn't even begin to name the possible reasons. I just know that we are still human. We are human beings. Even though we claim Christ as Savior and Lord. Ours is a fallen world and depraved natures run through us too. Sometimes more obviously than they run through the lost. The ugliest letters I've ever received have come from fellow Christians. Who wrote me in Christian love, of course. You understand. So I, I, I want to say, back then, if you sought out help from a psychologist, you were nervous. But I want to tell you today, if you struggle and you need help and you need a good Christian psychologist, the most intelligent thing you can do is find one and go. And go as long as you need to go. And be sure that that psychologist or psychiatrist really, really does know the Lord Jesus and really is able to give you direction so that you can work your way through it. And I say to you, God bless you for every hour you spend finding your way out of the hole that you have been in for whatever reason. And I say to everyone who is engaged in the work of psychology and psychiatry who know our Savior and appreciate His Word and believe in its truths, I say, go for it. Help all you can, as long as you can, and our prayers are with you. If you're struggling with depression, don't blame yourself. Everyone experiences episodes of despair. While it may be tempting to isolate yourself, you need to seek out a close friend or trusted Christian counselor who can help you through this difficult time. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, the mournful wail of a miserable man, 
was copyrighted in 2002, and the Slife Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.